What is going on YouTube? Old Shaman here and today I'm going to be doing a video on my weekly wrap up for the February manga challenge. Now I know I told you guys I was going to be doing the progress in the form of Twitter posts. I'm still doing that if you guys want to follow me on Twitter. I will leave a link in the description below. But I realized pretty quickly that it was a bad idea because not everybody has Twitter and not a whole lot of people can actually reach out to me through Twitter. So for those of you who do not have Twitter, I decided that I will be doing these weekly, uh, these basically these weekly uh, kind of showing of what I've read for the entire week. So that way you guys can stay updated on the progress for the February manga challenge. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just kind of show you guys what I did. So first off with uh, day one, I went ahead and did some easy reading. I did some Gantz, I did Gantz volumes one and two. In fact, I think the night I actually read these two volumes, I, I read through all the volumes that I own. So volumes one through 20, which, you know, I guess technically it's not all, I don't own all volumes one through 20. There's some out of print volumes within there, but uh, I went ahead and read what I didn't own online as it's a little bit easier that way. Uh, Gantz is such an amazing series. I love Gantz so much. Um, the first and second arcs are absolutely fantastic and are highly recommended, but unfortunately Dark Horse is just they out of print. They put so many things out of print to the point where it's just nearly impossible to even invest in the series um, because you'll run into gaps and you'll run into sort of droughts of manga that are just out of print completely and you won't be able to get the entire arc. Super disappointing and very unfortunate. Next is Freezing. We have volumes 11 through 12. This is a criminally underrated series. It's absolutely fantastic. Without spoiling too much, I can compare this series to a... It's basically a better Akame Ga Kill. This is what Akame Ga Kill should have been. Interesting, action-packed, bloody, violent, and, uh, and you know, it has a really solid story. Uh, Freezing is very enjoyable. Uh, this is probably the only Seven Seas manga that I own currently just because it's really the only thing that interests me from Seven Seas. Um, honestly, um, well, this isn't really a manga, it's a manhwa. Um, the guy, I believe this is a, it's basically a Korean manga. Um, but anyways, uh, this is probably one of the most solid series that I've ever read that I own in my collection. Criminally underrated, really underrated. Highly recommend that you guys check this out. Really awesome. They currently have up to, I believe volume 13 and 14 comes out sometime this month. So right now they got up to volume 12 and they're these uh, two in one volumes. They got some really interesting color pages just to kind of show you guys. They got some really nice pinups in here. <laughs> I gotta tell you that right now. But uh, like I said, they got some really cool stuff in here. So freezing is solid. You know, it's not just an etchy. It's a kick-ass seinen. Just gotta take my word on it. Day three, and like I said, got some uh, Nisekoi greatness. Uh, got volumes 13 and 14, and that's kind of what I own of Nisekoi at the moment. I plan to get a lot more of Nisekoi. Just right now, I kind of want to see if uh, Viz... I haven't really read anything. I haven't read the entire series. I know it's all completed, but I love it so much that I just kind of want to be... Uh, I want to be surprised for the ending, you know, whether or not it's going to be a terrible ending or if it's going to be a good ending, that's up in the air. But right now, I'm loving every single bit of Nisekoi. Definitely milking it right now because uh, I've really never gotten into a romance and I want to enjoy it. The fact that I really enjoy something that I'm not used to, I'm really happy that I found something like that. So, really glad that I picked up Nisekoi. Really awesome, good stuff. Um, next, and I just kind of noticed this, but I guess my volume is damaged, but, uh, damn, that sucks. Anyways, Girl on the Shore. Uh, I did a review on this, if you guys want to check it out. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I read Solonen, uh, not too long ago, and honestly, uh, my impressions coming from Solonen, um, I like A Girl on the Shore. I think it's a very criminally underrated Asano work. Um, it's well recognized, but it's not recognized for the fact that it's you know, it's people think that it's his his worst work, but personally, I think this is his some of his top three best work. And this is just coming from me. I've only read really only three, or I guess four technically. I've read Solonen, Goodnight Pun Pun, A Girl on the Shore, and I've read a little bit of What a Wonderful World. But uh, this is honestly one of my favorites so far. So we'll see if that changes. But overall, really solid. Next, we have probably some classics right here. We got ourselves some Shonen Greatness. We got ourselves some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist. I'm sorry, anyone who says Yu-Gi-Oh! is shit 
to me is just like I I yeah I don't know what bridge you're living under because Yu-Gi-Oh is fantastic. Um, I've had so much love for the series. You know, I've grown up on the series, loving it um, from the anime that aired Saturday morning, and then also from the manga and the card game. Just a lot of love for Yu-Gi-Oh. I really, really am glad that I was able to find these. For the longest time, these were out of print and were impossible to find. As you can see, a majority of the volumes I own still have the classic uh, Viz logo back from 2005. Um, I don't think this series got a reprint until eventually uh, 2010. That's when Yu-Gi-Oh! R came out. And I believe now they're phasing the single volumes out and they're going to three-in-ones. So if you guys want to make that jump now, I recommend you do because unfortunately Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist singles aren't going to last a whole lot longer. And finally, day six. Well, I guess not finally. I got two more volumes. But day six, I did JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Went ahead and reread this puppy. Got this in the mail yesterday. Really happy. It was supposed to come out today, but it came out, I guess, yesterday for me. Um, Amazon shipped it out early. Um, which is fine. Got it a day early. That's always good. Volume came in good condition, which is always nice. Um, so I love Stardust Crusaders. Um, it gets a lot of flack. I know for, well, actually it doesn't really get that much flack. But personally, I know a lot of people prefer that have read past part three, prefer part five, part six, you know, part seven over part three. And that's understandable. Um, like I said, with each continuous JoJo part, it gets better and better and better. Um, I plan to do a full review on JoJo Part 3. Um, probably not going to wait for the full run of the hard of the hardcover Jojonium volumes because it's going to be a while. Ten volumes for the Jojoniums is going to be quite some time. So I'm definitely going to be waiting on that one. And finally, for our read today, we finished Future Diary Volumes 1 and 2. Finally got to read the series. And you know what? Overall, I enjoy it. I would have to say this is probably my... I, I, I didn't, ex it was another series I didn't expect to enjoy. I felt that the series was going to be not what I expected. I did watch the anime and I really enjoyed it, but I never really checked out the manga and I heard the manga was a lot better and personally so far, from what I've seen, it's about 50-50, um, but that could change based on uh, whether or not I finish the series. Now, the issue is, is that it's a, a majority of the volumes are out of print. They're not too hard to get, but they're out of print and your best friends are going to be used bookstores. And I'm not a big fan of used quality. Um, I've always been the one to pick up new volumes. I just prefer it. Um, but honestly, if you go to a used bookstore, you can most of the time you can actually find some brand new volumes that are going for like $2. So really cheap. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna definitely be doing that. I'm gonna try to finish that series. It's only 10 volumes because Tokyo Pop and Bandai, uh, which Bandai was the translator at the time, and Tokyo Pop was the publisher. Uh, they both went under, and so they never finished Future Diary. Um, you can read the series online, but uh, honestly, it's just sort of difficult to find and kind of hard to get. I don't know. Anyways, that is my weekly wrap-up. Anyways, guys, this video was ridiculously long. I apologize for that, but I wanted to give kind of you guys a brief summary of each individual volumes that I picked out. So anyways, thank you all for checking this video out and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.